Hey there YouTube, I'm Bubbins, and early on in Baldur's Gate 3, you're probably too new to really be thinking outside of the box. There is so much in this game that you literally can't know unless the rolls go your way, or you have the skills and the ingenuity. One of those opportunities presents itself immediately and is super easy to miss. A fancy green sword called the Everburn Blade. If not for the cool factor of having a demon commander's flaming sword, it's also much better than what the game offers you for quite some time. When you enter the final room of the ship, a demon named Commander Zulk is battling it out with a mind flayer. Chances are, if you let the two do get out, the demon is going to come out on top. He simply has more health and better moves, which means the Mind Flayer is really only buying time for you to push forward and escape. However, if you get just a little creative, you can take his sword for yourself or Lazel. How? Well, to start, proceed through the ship as normal. Do what you want with the Intellect Devour, doesn't affect anything, and then come across Lazel who will join you. When you encounter Shadowheart, you must rescue her. If you're proficient in the arcane like I am, you can handle this yourself and simply will it to open on the spot. If you aren't, there's a little doobob in the back room which will help you do the same thing. Once Shadowheart is free, press L and change her prepared spells. Drop one of them for the Command ability. This is a super underrated ability that can really alter how things are going for you, especially on the easier difficulties where enemies won't notice they're being charmed sometimes. With it, you can do a variety of things, including making a character stop moving and preventing them from taking actions, bonus actions, or reactions. You can also command it to grovel causing it to fall prone for advantage attacks. There are other movement-oriented commands, including flee to run away and approach run towards, which cause the enemy to do movement and nothing else. But the one we want to use here is command drop, where you command the creature to drop their weapon on its turn and do nothing else. After Shadowheart has it prepared, go into the final room Clear the first group of enemies and have her approach the commander. He will not attack Shadowheart or anyone else until the Mind Flare is defeated. This is risk free. You will never take damage until he kills the Mind Flare. And more enemies will not spawn unless you go too far forward in the map. So make sure to stay relatively close to where they're fighting. With a 55% chance, it's actually pretty likely for the weapon to be dropped, and you have two spell slots to make that happen. If you aren't again save scumming, you can absolutely do that as well. Once the commander drops the weapon, have anyone pick it up, and there you go. The Everburn Blade is now at your disposal. It's an immediate 2 damage minimum, 6 damage maximum upgrade per attack for Lazel which is nothing to laugh at when a whole lot of enemies at this point have under 10 hit points. And that's not to mention the benefits of having fire damage available at a melee character's fingertips. Honestly, I just want all of my characters to have cool and powerful looking gear as soon as possible, so this is one weapon I can't pass up when I plan on using Lazel a lot, or if I'm a barbarian. So that wraps up this quick Baldur's Gate 3 guide, I hope it proved useful. The game honestly has so many cool moments and cool tricks like this that I want to highlight, so definitely look forward to more. Please make sure to leave a like or subscribe. As a small channel, it really does help me out a lot. And if you want to directly support the channel, there's a Patreon linked in the description below, or you can become a member right here on YouTube. For now though, I think that's it. I'll see you next time.